Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Intuitive Destination from Philip Ryan. All right, Intuitive Destination, what is this? This is a postcard trick. It's a postcard trick with a bunch of different places from all over the world. Uh, you can show your spectator a list of like 60 or so uh, different places. They can choose any place in the world they want from your list. There's no force, there's no equivocate, there's no nothing, no funny business. They can literally pick anything they want. They choose the place. You then bring out your collection of postcards and when you spread through them, only one postcard is reversed and it is the one they chose. Pretty cool, let's talk about this review. All right, so if you haven't guessed, Intuitive Destination is a invisible deck trick. It's an invisible deck trick with postcards. And if you're already familiar with the invisible deck or you already own the invisible deck, you and I could probably do this review together. There's really no surprises. So as far as what comes in the box, you're getting a box. Uh, it's a nice box. The graphics on it are well done. They tried to make it look like you had gone into a travel store and bought a collection of postcards from around the world. That's what it should look like. That's really what it is, really. It's not, these don't look like gimmicked postcards. They're postcards. They are postcards. They're postcards on the front and the back. They're gloss, high gloss on, on the face side. And then they're just a smooth cardstock on the back. You're also gonna get a download code. A download code will take you out to the internet and give you access to a 20 minute video. And you'll also get a PDF, a printable PDF, of all the different locales, all the different places that are represented in the postcards. Is it what I thought? Absolutely, it's exactly what I thought. It's an invisible deck trick. Uh, I have the invisible deck, I use the invisible deck, I do it. Uh, we've all seen David Blaine do it. So I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's an invisible deck trick. You can also get this as a Svengali deck as well. So it's another option. So if you don't uh, maybe do this trick, but you wanna try a different one, Philip Ryan also offers the postcards in a Svengali routine as well, and that Maybe that's uh, more your flavor. All right, so how are the angles and can it be inspected? Uh, angles wise, I mean, it's the same as an invisible deck. Invisible decks, you can flash with an invisible deck if you're not careful with your RNS, right? If you're not careful with your RNS, you can flash. So you have that same kind of issue here. Uh, as far as inspectability goes, of course, it's a gimmick deck, so no, you can't have it be inspected. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, it is well mic'd, it's pretty good shot for shot. Uh, and it is well filmed for this type of trick, especially for someone who doesn't know it. I think the easy route Philip Ryan could have taken is just to say, oh, everybody knows the invisible deck trick and just move on, right? But he doesn't, he takes his time, he walks you through it and he gives you exactly what you need, especially if this is your first time with this trick. As far as what he's gonna teach you, you'll get two live close-up performances at the beginning and then you'll see a stage performance, which is really cool. You'll see a live stage performance and then Philip Ryan is gonna uh, be seated in a living room setting. He's well mic'd. He's gonna teach you and give you a lot of ideas. All right, so is this well made? Uh, like I said, it's, it's postcards. They are as well made as postcards. They, they are postcards. They're postcards that have been transformed into a invisible deck. So practice wise, uh, it's just learning how to do the effect. It's not difficult. Uh, I think even with this routine, it's probably even less difficult than the actual invisible deck because I think with the invisible deck, you kind of have to remember there's a little bit of jumbly math to do uh, and you're looking for on-site cues and stuff. But with this one, it's actually easier than that. I mean, this is, I think it's easier than that. So, uh, because you have the little PDF list that you can bring out at any time. As far as setup and reset goes, I mean, there really isn't any setup. It comes ready to go out of the box. Reset, you just slide the postcard back in where it was before and you're good to go. All right, so positives. What are the positives I can say about this? Uh, Philip Ryan has brought this classic trick into the world of contemporary mentalism. This works great close up, but the cards are even big enough for parlor and stage. 
Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, I think the gloss postcard against a gloss postcard makes this collection clump. So you gotta watch your clumpiness. Okay, that's a thing. That's a thing with uh, uh, RMS tricks. So you gotta watch your clumpiness, but I think the added texture of a gloss photograph against a gloss photograph makes for a lot of rubbing and a lot of friction. So it, they don't glide, you know, like a deck of cards would, or like something that is normally RNS that you'd be familiar with. So just watch that. Is it worth your money? It's 30 bucks, $30. So you be the judge if you would like to have uh, 60 or so postcards sent to you uh, all done up invisible deck style. Think about your routine. You know, a lot of mentalists, they don't usually use playing cards. Playing cards don't always fit into the realm of some mentalist routines because it, it, it too closely associates them with magicians and magicians who do card tricks and I think sometimes, not always, sometimes mentalists want to be outside of that realm. This is a way that you as a mentalist could do a card trick without cards. All right, so that's everything I can say about Intuitive Destination from Philip Ryan. Of course, I want to thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it wherever quality Murphy's Magic products are sold. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.